morning to all the students myself dr pavan tapre ecology of electrical department today we will discuss the subject of system 2 the unit number 6 hvdc transmission line the lecture number 1 the overview of this topic is first general aspects of the dc transmission and the comparison of it with the ac transmission second converter system or converter circuit third analysis of the bridge converter fourth point is the control of hvdc converter and system last is the protection the general aspect of the dc transmission and comparison of it with the transmission ac transmission we discuss first the historical sketch second the constitution of ehp ac and dc link third limitation and advantage of the ac ac and the dc transmission so first point the point is the historical sketch so evolution of the power system it is led 1870s commercial use of electricity then in 1882 the first electrical power system which is include the generator cable fuse load design designed by the thomas edison at the pierce street station in the new york it was dc system low voltage 110 volt underground cable is used to distribute the power to the consumer only 59 consumers are benefited by this low voltage dc system in kenekin in kenekin lamp are used as a load in 1884 motor were developed by the frank pangu after the invention of the motors electricity is used more effectively or it was appreciated in 1886 limitation of the dc high losses high voltage drop transmission transformation of the voltage required the transformer and the ac distribution of 150 lamp developed by the williams stanley of wheatstone house in 1889 first ac transmission system in usa between the wilmette falls and for falls lake oregon it was the first single phase for kilo volt over the 21 kilo before that in the year of 1888 ne and tesla were developed polyphase system and had patent of the generator motor transformer transmission line later the westin house bought it in 1890 controversy on whether the industry should standardize ac or dc edison dc system or wheaton house ac system later because of the features of ac system it's dominating first voltage in it is possible second simpler and cheaper generator and motor in 1893 first three phase like 2.3 kw 12 km in california next improvement in the voltage year by year in 1922 165 kw is there in 1923 230 kw is there in 1935 287 kw is there in 1953 330 kw are there in c 1965 400 kw transmission line is there in c 1966 735 kw transmission line is there in 1969 765 kw is there in 1990 1100 kw transmission line is there standard voltage are 115 138 161 230 kw prefer for the high voltage line remaining 345 500 765 kw are extra high voltage line for interconnecting of ac system we need fixed frequency 60 hertz us and canadian country 50 hertz euro and asian country entry of the high voltage transmission system hvdc system hvdc transmission was designed by the french engineer Rene Curie simultaneously AC system was also developed here in between 1880 to 1911 at least 1130 60 system were installed in Europe the prominent was Monterey 
the earth to loyal in France in 1906. It comprised 180 kilometer, 4.5 kilometer underground cable, 4.3 megawatt fiber, 57.6 kilowatt and 75 ampere. The features of this system is DC series generator was used. Second, the constant current to current mode. In 1920, transverse transverter mechanical converter polyphase transformer was developed. Again, AC system dominated. In 1938, all the AC system were dismantled because in DC system we need frequent maintenance. Cost also is very cost also is not effective. Next, again, AC revolution. Back till 1950, in the year of 1950, mercury or wall bulky converter, it was possible to convert AC to DC. In 1954, first AC-DC system between the Sweden and Portland, England, was commissioned by the cable conversion carried out by mercury arc rectifier. Again, you can think that about DC transmission because of the limitation of the AC. System. What are the limitation of the HVAC system? First, the reactive power loss, second, stability, third, current carrying capacity, spin and current effect, and last, power control or flow control is not possible. So, thank you very much for today's lecture.